Hey everybody, uh, so we're going to go over the, the two techniques that we did in class the other day. The first one's going to be creating the Gatlin ring. And we're going to start this off with a shift right click to cylinder. Okay, in my case I have my default cylinder creation set to 8 sides. Uh, we're going to up that to 20 because uh, the build we did in class the other day had 10 holes on top. And we want two slices for every hole that we're going to cut. Um, if we were doing something with 8 holes, 16 would be fine. If we were doing something with 6 holes, 12 would be fine. But um, this is great. I'm just going to increase the radius to 8 um, so we can actually see this thing. There you go. The only other thing we've got to do is we need subdivisions along the top here because when we cut a hole, we want to make sure that the uh, center of the geometry is isolated from that. So subdivisions on top, I'm going to put in 4. We're going to base our hole on one of the vertex in here and then we'll have all this extra space. Uh, we're going to cut out the middle as well so that's why we're doing it this way. Next we need another hole or the hole cutter and that's going to be this. So we'll move this right over here and this has eight sides. That was my default. That's going to work great but it's nowhere near tall enough because we're going to do a boolean. We want this to stick through so I'm just going to make this about 10. doesn't need to be any particular size. We just need it to pass all the way through. Okay, so let's go to the top view. So I'm going to hold down the space bar and go to top view. Let's put on shaded with wireframe so I can actually see this. We'll move it up here, frame this up, and we will hit V and just sort of snap it to that vertice right there in the middle. Okay, uh, this could do with a little bit of sizing, so we're just going to scale this up something like that. Should be fine. Once again, it's a personal taste, doesn't matter, it's not going to affect your build at all. Bubble little mode, there you go. Uh, let's go back to perspective view. So, now that we have this, all we're going to do is the boolean cut. So what we want to do is we want to cut this item, hold down shift, with this item. All right, And that's going to be in the mesh menu. We're going to go to boolean and difference. And there you go, that's going to give us our cut. As usual, we don't need all this geometry, so we're going to grab all of this and delete it. And as a matter of fact, we don't need much of what's going on top, so we'll grab all of this and delete all of this. We don't need any of this or this, and we don't need any of this or this for this. This is everything we need right here. Okay, so we got a little bit of cleanup to do. Um, we're going to vertex mode and we see we got vertices over here that we got to merge together. We want to make sure we're merging this vertice up to that so that the octagon hole remains nice and clean. So we'll grab this vertice, shift, right click, go into merge vertices and then down to the merge vertex tool. We'll grab that and just drag that up to there and we'll do the same on this side and drag that and come on up to there. I'm going to hit Q to get out of that and go back out to object mode. Now we just got some cutting to do and in this case we're going to go shift right click and over here we're going to go to the interactive split tool. So we're just going to take this poly on here and cut it in half. Take this polygon right over here and cut it in half and hit Q to get out of that. So now we're all quads. Well, we're going to do it over here as well. Go to here and go to there. So now we're all quads except for down here. And what we'll do down here is just we're going to select this edge and delete it. And we're in business. Last thing I just want to do is I'm going to select all these edges or actually go into vertex mode. and do a shift right click merge vertices just to make sure we're nice and clean. So we got that looking good. I'm going to delete the history and if you remember what we did over here was we went back into edge mode, double click to cl select this entire edge, shift right click and fill hole. Okay and the reason we did that is what we want is we want an extra edge loop in here to hold on to the shape once we do the bevel. So if we do that and now select this face and go into extrude face, we can put a little bit of a 0 
two, a little bit more maybe, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, something like that. Put a little bit of a uh, offset bevel in there, select that face in the middle. So now we got a nice offset here, which will hold that shape once we create the actual geometry. So we're looking pretty good. That's nice and clean, all quads. We just need to duplicate this all the way around, okay? Well, this is one-tenth, and it's 360 degrees, so we're going to need 10 of them to go the whole way around. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Edit menu, Duplicate Special, and get the Option box. All right, I'm going to reset that real quick. I'm going to say we're going to rotate this 36 degrees, and I need nine copies. I hit the button, and there they are, nice and clean. Uh, we're going to grab all this geometry, shift right click, and combine it. And then go back into vertices mode, select all our verts. We got 280 verts. And if we shift right click and merge those verts down, it takes us down to 231. So we should be in good shape now. Let's just look at this geometry for a second. I'm going to hit smooth on there. All right, everything looks good, nice and smooth. Great. So let's take it down like this. Stay in faces mode. Grab all these faces, and now just we need to create the actual geometry. So we're going to do a shift, right click, and do an extrude. Remember again, we're going to want to extrude in the direction of the arrow. If we do it the opposite way, our normals invert. Uh, all right, so we're going to go up just a little bit. Then tap G to repeat. Then we'll go up something like that. And then tap G to repeat. And that gives us that next bit of an edge, just like that. And uh, there we go. Let's take a look at that. So smooth this out. I'll turn that setting off. So our internal rings now are looking really good, nice and sharp. Outside a little bit soft, so we're going to want an extra edge loop on the outside, but if you remember, um, trying to insert an edge loop here is troublesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, once again, do an extrude on the faces and build our edge up that way. So we're going to go into face mode, select there, hold down shift and double click there. That selects the entire ring. If I hold down shift and use the greater than key, that selects those two rings as well by growing our selection. We're going to shift right click, do an extrude on the face. Let's swing around to find that blue arrow. Just zoom in a bit on this so we can see what we're doing. We're just going to grab that blue arrow and bring it out just a little bit. Just like that. Back to object mode. Hit three. And we're in business. Now we have a nice clean looking piece of geometry all quads, and we're in really good shape. Now, just for fun, the last thing we did was we uh, cleared out these faces in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to face mode, grab all these faces, and delete them. So we got those rings right there. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to go to edge mode, double click those, and double click those. All right. And if you wanted to bring them in tighter, you could do that first. So if you had those selected, you could um, hold down scale and scale them in just a little bit. And I'm looking at the bottom. It's sort of coming in about, about let's see, 0 0.69, 0 0.72. Grab this as well. This is just because I want that hole to be a little bit smaller this time. Something like this. All right. Same difference, don't need to do it. But I can double click those, hold down shift and double click those. And now we're just gonna use the bridge tool. Make sure my bridge tool settings are okay. And that's not exactly what I want. I wanna reset that. I don't want any divisions. Just wanna apply. And there you go. Now we've got that center hole nice and filled out. Uh, we're gonna wanna bevel on that. On each side, we could put the edge loops in manually or just as easy to uh, Double click that edge, shift, double click that edge, and let's add a little bit of a bevel to it. So I want a two-sided bevel, 0.05 should be good. Let's apply that. 
It's a little bit smooth. I like them a little bit tighter. So all we're going to do is go over to the channel box, find our bevel, it's right up here, and change this to a 2.5. And you can see right there that tightened up that bevel nicely. And I think that's just going to look better. So now we get this, hit the smooth button, and you are done. A nice, clean, boolean geometry, and we use Duplicate Special, and I think that's a technique that um, you could use for an awful lot of builds. Hope that was helpful. See you soon.